From DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. Devitt Strato of New York recently took to Facebook to berate his local Starbucks for making his iced coffee with regular milk instead of soy milk as he ordered it. In his post, he wrote, "...I've pooped 11 times since the AM. My bottom hurts from all the wiping. You think I enjoy soy milk? I don't order soy milk because I'm bored and want my drink order to sound fancy. I order soy milk so that my bottom doesn't blast fire for four hours." For its part, Starbucks did send him a $50 gift card. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service says it will attempt to save an endangered ferret species in Montana by using a drone that will shoot M&Ms loaded with vaccines. Instead of being endangered, the ferrets will now just become obese. A terrified woman in the U.K. called for help after finding a tarantula the size of her hand in a cabinet in her home. When help arrived, they found the eight-legged creature was just a plastic toy. I'm going to take a stab in the dark here and say her kids are boys. A coffee shop in Brooklyn, New York is now featuring an $18 cup of coffee, which would be a great deal if you got free refills for life. Facebook has been displaced by Instagram as the worst social networking site for cyberbullying. I guess poking just isn't what it used to be. According to a recent study, South Korea drinks more hard liquor than any other nation, pounding down an average of 13.7 shots a week. Well, you know, Kim Jong-un is their next-door neighbor. Can you blame him? President Trump spoke at the White House Wednesday afternoon to the American Legion Boys Nation and Auxiliary Girls Nation, two groups in which young men and women are acting as senators for their respective states and participating in a mock lawmaking process. Unlike the adult senators, the kids have already passed a new health care bill and have moved on to solving the immigration problem. A Florida man accused of making $7 billion in fraudulent wire transfers told the court he stole the money because Jesus wanted him to be wealthy. Mm, yeah, let's see here. Uh, Jesus is the Son of God. Um, God said, Thou shalt not steal. No, I'm thinking that maybe that wasn't Jesus you heard from, pal. According to the Weather Channel, fall weather will reportedly be extremely hot in the United States. The East Coast, the South, and the Midwest will all experience higher-than-average temps starting in September and lasting all the way through November. The only spot spared from the unseasonal balminess is the Northwest. But then they're wrong half the time when predicting rain in the next 24 hours, so I wouldn't put much stock in what they say is going to happen three months from now. Mississippi is considering bringing back the firing squad as a method of execution. Well, that should throw a few liberals into a tizzy. In D.C. on Tuesday, a Secret Service agent accidentally shot himself when his weapon went off. Or he was just that desperate to get away from POTUS. A guy in Italy faked his own kidnapping to keep his wife from finding out he crashed her new car. Now the poor guy could face criminal charges which is still better than dealing with the wrath of his wife. Please support my channel by sharing the Daily Dose of Weird News on Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, and other social networks. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. And click that little bell icon next to the subscribe button to be notified when I post new videos. Find even more weird news that I didn't have time for at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. I'm Darren Marlar, and I'll see you next time, weirdos!